Ganpati Bapa is coming to his people. The shops are bright with flower-laden pulgas, rhinestone encrusted mukuts and thermocol thrones. Sweet and savory scents waft down Laubog's gallus, the aroma of the Poachida and Chakli, of Yukadich Modak and Shankarpali all telling Mumbai that its much-loved god is here, bringing ten days of disruption, traffic chaos and blockbuster displays of faith. This is that time of the year, when all roads in Mumbai lead to Laubog. And in Laubog, all roads lead to the king. His name is on calendars, posters and streamers. His face looks down at you with regal benevolence from photos hung inside shops. He is the most celebrated of Mumbai's Ganpatis, revered because he is believed to grant any wish. On the ten days that Lal Bhagjaraja takes his seat here, devotees turn up in thousands, prepared to wait in the Mukdarshanachi line for hours simply in order to catch a glimpse of his countenance. The Navsachi Q, meant for those who have made vows to the god, is the endurance sports of worshippers, who often have to wait in line for over 24 hours. Last year, nearly 1.25 crore devotees came visiting. Fifteen years ago, however, visiting Laubog Jaraja was like dropping by to meet a friend. One could go as many times as one wanted and at any time of the day, says Madhu Karnaral. The 74-year-old is the proprietor of New Hanuman Theatre Mangal Karyale, a wedding hall, which, like most other places in Laubog Market, has been taken over by gain shots of preparations. Since 2000, I have seen Laubog Jaraja grow bigger with every year, with movie stars, industrialists cricketers and politicians coming here to pay their respects, says Narel. He no longer visits the Lal Bog Jaraja Sarvatana Ganesh Mandal because he cannot stand for hours. Much has changed about Lal Bog Jaraja, but in some ways, it is a reminder of a time when Mumbai's cosmopolitanism had not been dented by competitive parochialism. For instance, the fortress under construction where Lal Bhagja Raja will take his seat on September 4th.